No. Yes. Amazing. Also, music is probably too loud. So every every single time I stream, I'm like, um, music, uh, question mark. <laughs> Hold up. Um. Why does this not work? Okay, let me turn it down. Now music, because like every time that I talk, I ask people to tell me like what to set the music to. They always tell me to put it like way too not the opposite of loud, quiet. <laughs> so I'm just figuring that out. Hold up, give me like five seconds. Mm. Um. Oh, sun is good. Okay, great. Amazing. Um, I'm, let me, oh my god, people need to stop messaging me. This is very stressful. One moment and I'm gonna be live, don't worry about it. Um Sweet. Okay, great. Um let me just move this to like over here. And here I am. What's up? <laughs> um, I'm like, I don't know if I should. Who knows? Um, no, because I'm like, I'm actually not feeling the music. So like, whoa. Oh, wait, hold up. Chat, not visible. Is chat working now? Yay, it's working! And everything seems to be doing fine on YouTube, from what I can tell. Um, so that's great. Let me actually see what people are writing, because I can't see anything. Um... Uh, sweet, okay. I think this is good. I think everything is fine. Um, it's like I just wish that this wasn't so weird, you know? Um, but okay, so um, what I'll be doing today is actually I'm gonna do something a little bit different from what I normally do. So what I usually do on the stream is um, I just like pick a concept or like a person uh, that I want to sculpt and then 
like I either try to do it in a realistic way or like I try to stylize it or I don't know like I'm just constantly testing out new things and so um, I thought it would be fun if I took that to like a gestural stylization level if that makes sense so I'm actually going to be doing like an anatomy study to an anatomy study not really it's more of a gesture female anatomy study sculpt thing but the focus is not on like the specifics of the anatomy itself it's more about capturing the gesture and like the feeling of the drawing and so i'll try to go and do that in like a realistic way first and then i'll try to do like a i don't know like some form of stylized thing that's stylized in like a more cartoony way as opposed to a gestural way and we'll see how that goes <laughs> um let me see what's going on in the chat let me just get like a black background because my it's like the chat app just shows up in like i can't read anything because it's see-through okay can you please like Open an image a new tab. Wow, that was highly disappointing. I want like a giant, um, like a yes, like 4K, you know. Um, yes. Okay, amazing. No. <laughs> Uh, got any hard surface tips if you feel like it? So, um, the best tip that I can give you is kind of like figuring out, uh, just like pre-planning when it comes to hard surface is the most important thing. So it's like, you have to make sure that, um, you have like a good attack plan and like noticing what are repeating elements in your model or like in the concept or whatever. And it's just like making your life easier by creating all your assets beforehand. And so that way, when you're creating all the, when you're actually composing everything together, it goes much faster. Like you have uniform UVs, it's just way simpler <laughs> and you already kind of feel more confident and like, putting things on because you already have like dissected what it is that you want to do. If you're concepting hard surface, I can't really help you. <laughs> um, yay, YouTube stream is fixed. Um, so this, let me um, uh, show you what's, what it, Okay, so how did I get to this beautiful mannequin? Um, I went into Lightbox and I went into Project and there's, uh, if you go into Project, there is a, um, what do you call it? Mannequin folder? And, oh, chat is covering that up, but you can still see it. So, and I just clicked on this eight head female uh, one. So that's what I did and that's what I'm gonna be using. Um, just starting from something something simple so everybody can understand my approach fairly easily. Um, so yeah, uh, Macho Toxicity <laughs> asks uh, whether I went to school for 3D. Yes, I did. I went to the Noman School of Visual Effects and it was great um so i don't know actually i never sculpt asymmetrically because <laughs> you know it's just a lot of time but since i'm trying to do like a more gestural thing um i think i'm actually going to start out with an asymmetric like i'm gonna just go asymmetrical from the get-go uh we'll see how that works <laughs> it shouldn't be too bad um but still it it might be like We'll see what happens. <laughs> um, let me like so. I'm just rotating um, this to kind of match the concept better. I'm like, how do I? Bro oh, that's what that does. Okay, so how? What does that do? How do I make that work? I never use this tool, so I'm like, oh, all right. I see. Um, no, 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 don't do that. Don't, no, stop doing that. Yes, 
Thanks. I mean, I can always move this later with the transpose tool also, so I'm not like too upset if not everything is perfect right from the get-go. It's okay. I don't know what... Oh, there we go. Okay, so that and then actually I should probably move that this way. Neck goes backwards um, and... Yeah, sure. And it looks like she's, like, feeding a fish to herself or something. You know, it looks like she's, like, eh. Or, I don't know. Um, I make beautiful sound effects, so. What's up, Wimal? How are you? Um, oh, yeah, I've been doing this posing thing in the wrong side of the screen. Sorry. Um, you'll have to forgive me for that one. Okay. Um, so I feel like the momentum is very like this and oh no no not you um, no <laughs> yeah kind of more like that and then um, let's make that make sense and she like Yeah, that feels better to me. So I'm kind of uh, seeing how much... Okay, so this... Oops. It's like there's... Eh. Okay, so the pelvis definitely tilts way backward, but I don't really... How do I... No. Um... Oh, what's happening? Oh my god, hey Farad, I don't know if I'm pronouncing your name correctly also, but I love your work, so I'm like, oh, thanks for showing up. <laughs> um, I sure wish no one offered their degree online. Um, yeah, I mean, there's a reason why they don't, I think. Um, oh my god, this is like mildly difficult to navigate, um, to be honest, so okay. What happens is center of gravity, it seems to be resting on like this foot over here. Um, so I'm just going to see if I can. Not gonna lie, this tool is cool, but also I don't know what I'm doing. Like I'm still kind of figuring out how it works. I'm like, how do I rotate versus doing other stuff? Um, I'm like, I just wanna move this. <laughs> No, I just want to move the thing. Yes, thank you. Um, and it seems to me that... Huh. Huh. Very interesting. Um, yeah, that makes sense, actually. So there's a tilt in the hip. Kind of like that a little bit. Um, which is going to make me put the leg, like, over here. Um... I always think about things in terms of like how weight shifts. Oh my god, this is n n from the front, not looking too stellar just yet. Um, foot needs to be angled down. And then, um, like, can you just, yeah, thank you for doing that. <laughs> um, what's going on? It's 3 a.m. there. Vivek, oh my god. Um, uh, that's crazy, but thank you for showing up and participating. Also, hey, Ashley, what's up? How are you? Um, actually, I, can, I mean, I want to talk about how to prepare, like, if you don't like eggs, how to make eggs in a way that's um, good, but... I'm gonna do that on my own stream because people, whenever I ask you, I'm like, so how, how do you think I could improve my streams? They're like, talk more about art. And I'm like, fine, I'll do it. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm like, I don't know. I like talking about food as I usually would be, right? Um, okay, so actually I feel like this entire leg could be straighter and then this... Okay, not gonna spend like a crazy amount of time we're, like figuring this out because I'm just gonna be moving stuff around a lot once I actually get to um, 
man, because I'm like, this is not moving in ways that I want it to. <laughs> um, and then, like, there we go. Make that just a little more dynamic. Um, put that hand kind of like that there. Right. Um, mm, I almost feel like, because I'm like, I wanted to give off like this like somewhat double jointed look where it's like the elbow actually comes in a little bit more. Um, and also like this knee should go back a little bit. Yeah. Okay. I think I have a pretty good base. I actually don't remember how you do the thing. I think you just, okay, you don't make polymesh 3D. Um, I've never used this before. I guess I could just dynamesh. Can I do that? Is that a thing I can do? No, I can't. How do I, how do I exit out of this mode? Does anybody, can anybody tell me? <laughs> how do I just like make this a sub tool? Um, help. Um, well, uh, uh, do you have your own channel on YouTube? Yeah, if you just click, um, oh, adaptive skin. Do I just, oh, thank you so much. Thank you, everybody who, um, told me what to do. <laughs> oh, and I forgot, I, I forgot my glass of water. I'm going to be talking for like three hours and I don't, yeah, we'll see how that goes. Okay, party time. AK, um, just figuring out what I'm gonna do, how I'm going to approach this. So when it comes to anatomy sculpting, I really like using the clay buildup brush. Um, it just feels the most like clay to me. And because I have a background in sculpting in clay, it just, it's like a very natural transition. So the way that I'm approaching this is I'm just kind of uh, building out the forms and I'm not too committed to begin with. I'm just kind of like laying down landmarks um, and building up mass that I know should be there. That makes sense to me. So it's like every person's going to be approaching this differently, but I'm just kind of like adding stuff right now, right? Um, Actually, I'm going to, before I get too far, I'm going to polygroup the legs because they seem to be, like, touching. And that's going to cause problems later on when they are actually touching. And uh, it's not going to be a fun time, like, trying to sculpt with that happening. Um, so let's see how that went. What? Oh, that's weird. Oh, I don't... Hmm... All right, uh, I'm going to do that instead. And then we do, actually, let me just do this with the lasso tool because it's faster. Just select what I need. Um, what's going on? Um, a funny question I've got. Sculpting is your hobby or passion? Um, so I actually... I really like sculpting in traditional clay, although I have not done it in a while. But I don't know, it's like... What's the difference between a passion and a hobby? You know, it's like normally you'd want to be spending your free time doing things that you're passionate about. Um, so I don't know. That's a weird, like, I don't really know how to feel about that question. I've never thought about it in that way. It's just something that um, I really enjoy doing, but it's never been something that I've, um, like, it's, it's fairly recent, actually, like, I don't know, it's, um, it's a very interesting, I don't know, it's just fun, <laughs> um, I'm learning ZBrush through your videos, really great, yay, I'm glad, I'm glad that, um, I'm, I can be of help, and of service and that it's you know the streams are helpful for something <laughs> oops um yeah let me just do that so this one's going to be like um 
And I mean, I have a reference up, but at this stage, I don't use reference because I'm just building out the forms. And then later, when I actually go in to make corrective shapes more so, I focus on the forms more. Uh, sorry, I focus on reference more, like specifics of like, oh, what would the muscle do in this specific situation? Also, I like to turn on back face masking while I sculpt with like at this stage with this brush so that I don't have to bother, um, you know, thinking about the fact that it's like pulling on the other side. Um, so I'm just like trying to lay down curves at this stage. Um, and just general idea for proportions. Wow, that's not good. <laughs> um, I guess some people do things they don't like as a hobby. I don't know. Um, I guess, but I, I don't see the point in that. You know, I'm just like, I am going to die one day. And I might as well um, spend my life doing things that I uh, that are worth my time and like I enjoy doing, you know, while I can. But I am like, ah, uh, no, to the let's let's not talk about it. <laughs> um, what is the hotkey for polygroup? It's Control W. So you just mask whatever you want, and then when you press Control W, it um, creates the polygroup thing for you. Wow, that doesn't look great. <laughs> Um, so I'm just like, um, like if you can tell, I'm very loose with this. This doesn't look particularly amazing just yet or anything, but, um, we'll see how, how much I can actually get the gesture itself. Okay. So this is going to... Right, and then also build up the mass over here. Um, wow, what a what a great foot! But I want to get like a decent-ish foot in for this, just so the weight feels good, if that makes sense. Um, and then let's get the same thing rolling over here. So I just, I always try to just like simplify shapes at the beginning, especially if I'm doing something that's more um, focused on um, like gesture related stuff, I guess. <laughs> it's like if it's supposed to be loose, it doesn't matter. And if, it, if I'm just, I'm not doing it for like a production thing, then I'm, you know, like building things up in an inconvenient way way from a production standpoint doesn't really matter because the, the, it's a study like you're doing it for yourself right um uh let's see what's going on uh a passion is where you are able to make money doing your hobby oh well then it's then it's a passion <laughs> i'm like um you know I try to be, I don't know, it's like, uh, maybe one day I'll actually be able to do act physical sculptures as a job, but it's not something that happens particularly commonly. I know that um, for the Dishonored game, they actually had a traditional clay sculptor do a bunch of concept busts, and I'm like, that sounds amazing <laughs> like uh, I would love to do that because I I actually feel like traditional sculpting is much more uh, organic and natural but it's also um, just more time consuming and in a way uh, not necessarily difficult it's just more fussy and it's a physical medium it's not time efficient um, you can't hack very much with it i mean there are certain hacks you can do but for the most part what you see is what you get um so i'm just 
you know, trying to get like a decent, decent sense of what's going on over there. Also, I'm going to, oops, that's not what I wanted to make happen. Um, oh, okay. Um, do you ever use sculptress mode? Um, I don't use sculptress too often. Sometimes I use it, but I, um, typically use Dynamesh and then I either retopo or I do, uh, what do you call it? Like a zero mesh or something. Um, I don't like how the smooth feature works with Sculptress Pro. Not the biggest fan of that, but it has its own, like, uses and good stuff. So I use it sometimes. I just haven't, like, gotten around to using it too much or anything. Um, so. There seems to be, like, a tilt, right? Like, this way. And so I'm going to shift all of this stuff in this direction. Um, I'm also going to rotate the head. Oh, very interesting. Okay, so no, I'm going to be rotating the neck. Um, so rotating the neck, and I'm going to rotate it this way, but then her head is actually angled in the other direction from what I can tell. So I'm going to do this thing. Um, so essentially, I'm just like trying to focus on creating like a, a dynamic pose. What are you doing? Um... Boop. No, come on. Ugh. Rude, but whatever. Um, I don't even know what's going on there. Okay. Um, how's the SSD performing? I didn't buy one yet. Uh. <laughs> um. Hey, I'm really struggling with sculpting male legs and arms. Do you have any advice or tricks that I can use to make it more easier for me? The best advice that I can give you is to study from scans. Because scans, they just, they don't lie to you, if that makes sense. Um, and so, uh, also, like, I don't know. I just really love looking at gesture drawings and things like that to learn more about anatomy. Because then you see how other people, th uh, not, it's like, it's not the correct anatomy, but you can really see people's thought process and how they simplify shapes. So if you're struggling with it at the beginning, then my advice is, is look at the, you know, the masters or whatever, like people who are just like really good at gesture drawings and whatnot, and then um, figure out like, how is it that they see things and who is it that they look at? Like, who do they admire and who do they learn from? Because, um, like, copying, it's not it's not the best advice. Another advice that I could give you is to uh, do, like, life drawing, honestly. is like, in, the best way you can learn is from life, so... Or, like, life... I don't know, um, that, which is why also I suggested that you look at, um, what do you call it, S scans, because it's, it's just the best, that's like how I learned so much about like shoulder anatomy, was just like really understanding what's happening in these scans of like, um, people, and I'm like, huh, that's weird, like I never thought about it in that way. Um, so let's, oh, saving. All right. Hello, I have a question. Um, uh, is there any way to use zero measure on a section of the mesh subtool without losing its subdivisions? Because every time I try to zero mesh the ear part, it deletes the subdivisions of the rest of the body, and I don't want to project. Once again, every time I want to zero mesh just a small section, any solution? From what I know, um, it's, I, that's not something that you can do yet because when you zero mesh it's like i don't think they've made an algorithm where it takes into account the edge loops um that you already have that are essentially like the bounding edge loops and then they create some like create um topology from that i don't think that that's a thing yet so i can't 
sad news is like you're gonna have to zero mesh the whole thing. Uh, so yeah, the best thing is never be too attached to what you are doing. Um, not yet. It's like until you have good topology on everything, don't don't get too committed. You don't wanna like do that to yourself. Get a little cranium in there. I made her like bulkier than <laughs> the uh, concept. Like I made her slightly more Frazetta ish in terms of proportions, but we'll fix that later. I'm just trying to get the gesture down for now. Um, let's see. Um, uh, a okay, so how to get hired in AI Studios as a creature designer? Only ZBrush is enough or extra skills needed. Could you help in this? Any tips? Yeah, so, um... If you want to get hired as a creature designer, if like a concept artist, um, like a lot of people do use ZBrush in their workflow, but uh, from my uh, exposure, most what is going on with this arm? Poor lady, I like broke her arm. <laughs> um, you need drawing skills more so, I think. It's like it's more about um, your actual design skills than it is about like ZBrush, but it's just like the more you know, the better, to be honest. And how to get the job, I mean, get good and get to know people who work at the studios you want to work at and like communicate with them. Uh, like what is it that they are looking for and try to tell tailor your portfolio to wherever it is that you're applying because every place is different right um, I'm just like super doodling on this it's like I'll come back to the shapes later and see like what is there to fix there's a lot <laughs> Um, but, yeah, for now, this is, like, a simple doodle. Okay, um... Let's see if I can match the proportions better now, though. So, her ribcage is, like... Pretty tiny. This is definitely more um, subdued. Let's add more curvature in there. Um, there we go. Kind of try and push the gesture a little more. Um, what's going on? Um, Donna, are you doing the Art War 3 challenge? I might. Um, I don't know if I, like, the deadline is... I don't know when. It just started, but I might I might um so I'm going back to Macedonia and um in uh, a few weeks. And um I mean, I'll finally be able to work cuz I'm like when I'm in the US I can't work. But um hold up. I might be busy with that more so but I don't know I'll see it like my life is very 
constantly fluctuating so i don't know to be honest it's like my schedule is never endingly like who knows what's going to happen <laughs> Um, but we'll see. We'll see how uh, busy I get, I guess. Oh yeah, this the leg needs to point out more. Um, just adds like a better dynamic. It's like and move it kind of like that, right? Okay, what's going on? Uh, I'm like, well, um, yesterday I submitted a test for a studio. I worked on that 10 days and night without sleep, but still didn't get selected. My heart got broke so hard. Um, don't feel bad because sometimes it's not, it doesn't mean that you're bad. It's just, your what what you do is not what they're looking for oh oops i did not want that or like there was just somebody who was more qualified right which is what it usually is um so don't feel bad so plenty more to come Um, but yeah, rejection doesn't feel great, so I can't be, I can't be like, yeah, don't stop feeling those feelings. It's like, it's normal, but all that means is that you just have to keep pushing for like harder forward. So like use it as motivation, if that makes sense. Cause like, it's what it, that's all that it really means. It just means that, um, maybe, maybe you weren't good enough. And if that is the case, like, it's, it's a possibility. I'm not going to, like, lie to you about that. And, like, I don't know. I don't know what it's like. <laughs> Obviously, I don't. But, um, just means you gotta be better or get better. <laughs> Oops. Um. There we go. All right, and then mask this all out. Um, what's going on in the chat? Um. I've gotten so much better at like talking to chat while oh my god oh, oh, oh I keep forgetting I like work on this part of the screen because I'm constantly like looking back to see what people are uh, saying so I'm not you know like rude and ignoring people <laughs> um I don't like the way that that there we go that's more like it There we go. And then that's going to pop up more. I'm just going to push this back a little bit. I'm going to make that skinnier. Just a little more curvature in some of these parts. Right, and so let's make it like that. Yeah, that's starting to feel way better. Um, are you going to look for a job in Macedonia? The only studio I know is uh, Knopnok. Um, and I'm kind of aiming for a position there. No, I mean, I, um, I freelance, so I would be doing freelance stuff. I'm not looking for, like, a actual studio job. 
there. So that's a no. Okay, then we'll be coming back and like working on the anatomy here, like the deltoid and whatnot. I found like some really good photos, um, like reference pictures to help me later on while I'm working on this stuff. It's like this actually protrudes a lot, but I don't have the photos up right now, so this is not gonna look that amazing just yet at least let me just move this like bizarre thing downward because her shoulders just like way too up if that makes sense like even if she's doing something like this it would uh, act more in like this way Right? Same thing over here. I'm like, weird poppy up thing. Should not look like that. So like, too much. She's not that buff. Um, what's going on? Um... Some streamers don't even reply, you are so great. I try, I can't re reply to everybody just because I'm, um, you know, trying to focus on doing stuff. But, I mean, I think that's part of the appeal of streaming is the fact that you get to interact with the person who's doing it. And I'm like, if, if you're not, then meh. It's fine, like, I, I actually understand it because... I sometimes don't, I'm not the best at interacting. Um, it's like if I'm in a bad mood or something. But I think it's only fair, you know? Using the snake hook brush, let's see what that does. I really want to hit like this apex over here. But I'm gonna have to start defining like the musculature of the arms pretty soon because right now it just looks like blobby contour, which is fine. And then I'm going to actually just like, whoop. Mm, I don't think I love how that works. I'm gonna work on her face a little bit though. Let's do like an asymmetrical me. How do I... I very rarely sculpt faces like this. I generally start from a base mesh, but let's see what happens. Um, why can I not... I can't divide this? I guess I have to like actually dynamesh it. Huh, interesting. Okay, well, let me get the facial features on there first, and then um, I'll dynamesh it. So I'm kind of just, like, carving her face out right now. Like, the general shape of skull and whatnot. Um, uh, Donna, how old are you? Um... <laughs> I know I know it is rude to ask about a woman's age, but I am very curious. Um I'm 22. I'm I'm also just like I don't understand why asking a woman her age is considered rude. It's like you know, I I just feel like that's such a I hate it, <laughs> you know, like, it shouldn't be that way, and I'm like, I know older women who are very much like that, that they, they feel insecure about their age, and I'm like, no, shouldn't be getting older and wiser be a good thing? It's just, like, 
I don't know, man. Like, own what you got. Um... Uh... Oh! How old are you? Uh, oh, side effects. Hi, by the way. Um, feels like it's rude to get older and experienced. I think that that... Part of it, so like I understand when people feel like they look at, um, you know, somebody who's like young and accomplished and it, it's like it, it feels not great. And I understand it because I feel that way sometimes where I'm just like, um, there are people who are like 17 and whatnot and they're just doing so much in their life that i wish like i'm like i'm not even at that point yet and it's i'm like uh, why can't i be that but i'm not and that's fine it's like everybody goes through life at their own pace and you can't force that And it's fine. It's just, it doesn't feel great. I know. But it is what it is. Um. It's how I feel about, what's her name? There's this singer that, like, I don't know. She just showed up in my life. I wasn't, like, I don't I just started seeing YouTube video recommendations of her or something. And then she had, like, a concert in LA that I happened to see was happening and I'm like what's up with that and I find out that this girl so she's like a really great singer has uh, like a really cool fashion sense and whatnot and she's like 16 and I'm like what it's like I'm always amazed by things like that I'm just like wow like what kind of a person do you have to be to be so great that's i'm like i remember when i was 16 and i was just the most to like very regular teenager going through a never-ending existential crisis <laughs> uh, but also like just not being like not having nearly as much of a vision of what i want to do in my life as some people like, what's her name? Billie Eilish, which at one point my brain mixed up and like thought it was like Ellie Baelish. And I googled it and it just showed me, what's his name? Lord Baelish from Game of Thrones. And I'm like, I don't think this is it. <laughs> um... Uh... Ooh, I have no idea what's going on in chat right now. Um, but it's okay. It's like... There we go. It's sort of a face, you know? It's an outline of a face. Can give her just like a little bit of a mouth structure. There we go. Mm, no, no we don't. But whatever. Um, so let me, why does, how do I, I don't get it, why can't I, like, oh, I click that, hey, I did it, <gasps> no, I did not do it, I messed up, I messed up, I, I did a bad thing, there we go. Now I can click po make polymesh 3D. Um, there we go. And I'm actually going to just zero mesh this right now because I feel like... I mean, I'm not really going to be adding fingers or anything, so... What? Why? What? Is this not what I want it to be? Oh yeah, this is what I want it to be. Alright, so... Stuff is saving. If anybody has any questions, feel free to ask. Um, I think I'm fairly okay at answering them. <laughs> but, why? oh, okay, it's finished saving. I was going to be like, how's everybody's Sunday doing? 
Um, uh, oh! Okay, you're at the Info Gamer reboot in Zagreb. How was that? I I wanna. I'm like, have I been to Zagreb? I don't think so. I don't know. I've never been to Zagreb, which I really wanna go because apparently there's prosciutto everywhere, and everybody should know how I feel about that. <laughs> oh my God, you're Croatian! I didn't know that. Um, I was actually listening to um, Dino Dvornik yesterday. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's... I mean, he's great. I, I like weird, random Euro dance related music. Um, okay, let's zero mesh this. And I mean, I don't even care about reprojection, so... Because I'm at such a low stage of doing this. I'm going to get a glass of water while this is zero meshing. Um, ZBrush UV is acceptable or Maya in industry? 1000% you have to be in control of your UV. So it's like if you're just going to do... Like if you're going to let ZBrush sp spit something out for you. And I'm sure there's ways to gain more control over ZBrush. Oh, and they're coming out with a new UV tool soon. So maybe you'll be able to do good UVs and ZBrush, but for now, I would suggest Maya. It also depends what you're working in. So it's like if you're working in the collectibles industry, you don't, mm, you could need UVs if you need it for like patterning. Um, but honestly, if you're working in games, one thousand percent, like you. It's like Maya or Max or something like that. Um, uh, the question is, what got you into sculpting? So I wasn't. I when I went to Nomen, I didn't really know what I wanted to do. All I knew was like I saw the school and I was like, this looks really cool. I want to work in the entertainment industry, but I don't know what I want to do, like, in particular. Because I felt like I just didn't have the experience to tell, if that makes sense. It's like, how can you know what you want if you haven't even tried any of it? And it's like, that entire, like, all of that was so new to me. So when I, uh, I mean, I actually did some ceramic sculpting that was... I made like little trinkets and things like that. They're like hilarious. I have some photos um, of just like little ceramic sculptures I made. Sculptures like, you know, I made like a sun and then I made like <sighs> worms, uh, pencil holders. I made little bowls and things like that. Um, but I didn't do any, like, actual sculpting or anything like that. It wasn't, like, classes. It was, like, a hobby more so. So I did that, um, when I was, like, eight years old. Um, but so when I went to Nomen, I had a traditional sculpting class. And that's what made me realize that I really like, um, sculpting. And I really like creating, like, characters, right? Um, and it was... Fairly early on, it was in my second term, so it was like, um, you know, like uh, four or five months into school, I realized that this is a thing I like doing. Um, let me build up this area a little more. I feel like people forget that there's like just a lot of fat in this area over here. And then, like, her hip bones would be protruding. Also, I didn't end up getting water because zero mesh was so fast. <laughs> Let me do this. Um, what's going on? 
I like you like I love the I love I think the newest version of Maya is the best one yet. It's honestly like I used to be a 2015 person until 2018 came out and I was like, oh my god, 2018 is the best. It doesn't feel, it feels kind of weird from this angle. Let me turn on like perspective. Eh, let's, let's find from here. Um, let me just like move this out. Okay, so we're like an hour into this, which I think is fair, fair amount of time. Um, I'm going to reduce this just a little bit. I'm gonna get back into this area. I'm going to like get into some specifics soon enough just kind of laying out what this looks like all right i'm going to go ahead get a glass of water and then um hydrate because water is important <laughs> um Um, hey, side effects. So I'm not going to be looking at it in the stream just because I don't want to distract from like what I'm doing. But um, yeah, you can send it to me if you want. I also I'm like, I'm fine with people sending me their stuff to like critique or whatever, as long as it's kind of like short, because I'm just like, I or, or, like, I give a critique once and they keep coming back. And I'm like, I don't have the time to constantly, like, give you all the feed. Like, I, and I mean, I don't mean it in a bad way. It's like, it's fine. Just, like, don't feel rejected if I don't reply. It's just that there's a lot in my schedule going on. And sometimes I just don't. I'm, like, either doing something else and then I forget or whatever. So it's like if you really want to critique, um, I don't know, like you gotta be persistent. <laughs> um, um, somebody, wait, what? Why you never smile? Um, I mean, first of all, what? <laughs> I'm pretty sure I do, but even if I didn't, it's kind of rude to ask that. <laughs> all right, let's um, get into of this stuff over here. Um. <laughs> and there we go. Oh, I really don't like that weird pinching I have going on there. That's kind of gross, but I think I'm just gonna... When you get stuff like that and you just don't really care, um, I... Wait, why am I using this shader? I just realized I'm using this shader I don't like this entire time. Like, I don't use that shader for... Let's 
called the M, way better. But I think, I don't know, I'm not like super, is it? Yeah, I guess I'm like, I was like too used to looking at it in that other material. So now this feels weird. Um, also, like, I can't go into too much detail or somebody might report me and I don't want to get um, Pixelogic's Twitch channel banned. <laughs> so let's um, do that. Oops, okay, I think I might have to, I might just have to actually do that. So what I like to do is I always like to show the protrusion of, oopsies, the bone over here. Although right now it's dislocated. <laughs> but um, also like, nope, needs more trapezius. I need, and this is the point at which I think I'm going to need to start looking at reference a little more. But I'm going to push the detail just uh, to give myself more to like correct and play with later. Once I do start looking at reference. Because um, it's always easier to fix something that's broken than it is to like just create something out of nothing. If that makes sense. So I'm just going to go ahead and um, something like that, give her like more abdominal definition, you know, and like try and make it feel stretchy, if that makes sense, like give her a little bit of something like that also. So it's bending. It's a little bit too much of a dip in at this point. So I'm just gonna bring that out. But I do feel like... Now, see, the ribcage at this point needs to just come out more. Like, oops. <laughs> um... Uh, what's going on? Uh, Somebody's like, don't mess with Donna, people. Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> I also find it weird when people do that because I'm just like, I don't, like, I personally don't care, right? But, um, like, why are you, like, you're doing this in a public space? Like, you know, it's like, you're disrespecting yourself. Like, why would you want to do that? Because it's like, people can look up, like, your name or whatever. It's like, what? <laughs> it's just weird. It doesn't make sense to me. Alright. Oh, this is, okay, there. Um, let's see if I can get, like, a nice definition right there. We'll see if I get around to, like, a more stylized version of this. Um, I don't know yet. Because I'm like, maybe I'll, I want to take this a little further. You know? Close that up just a little bit. Add more fat in this area. Like the upper thighs are just, yeah. Especially if it's like bumping into each other. It's like, but it's lacking mass over here. That's the problem. There we go. And I mean, I'll have to come back to all of this later because it's not looking that great. Although, great compared to this. So this needs to like come out more. It's like, meh. Right? Make sure, always make sure that the forms are falling on top of each other. So I always think about things in 
terms of cylinders. It's like cylinders lying on top of each other. Okay, let's not make it like that square. Like just smooth it out a little bit. Kind of like that. Um, it's feeling a little flat. Like I hate what's going on here. Like, what is that? Like, what am I doing? Oh, did I? Oh, I lost the poly groups. Oh, well, it's fine. I'm honestly, not like too bothered. So, this, in terms of like leg anatomy, needs to go like in and then come out a little bit. And then this curve could use a little bit more of that. And then, um, let's define the quads more. So let's do this thing. Um, uh, what? Uh, oh, 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 I'm like reading, it's like right now, it can, like, can you push the design? And I'm like, what? I'm so confused, but I realize that people are like critiquing other people's work in my stream. <gasps> Which is cool! Um, and I just got confused for a hot second. But, yeah, so like when I'm sculpting stuff like this, I like to switch between areas a lot just because it i don't know it keeps me more honest and it uh bringing like one area forward motivates me to work on the rest and bring it to the same level you know ah It's like this. Doody doody do. Curves are happening. It's like add a little bit of a break in there. more oblique definition maybe like that but i'll come back in later with um more like me looking at a reference and then examining what i'm doing because right now i'm just this is all imagination uh, not imagination but i'm doing this without reference so far which oh, is not so it's good to do if you're just trying to figure out where you're at, but it's not if you're trying to study something, right? Um, uh, what is going on? Um, okay. Wait, oops. Oblique come out more there we go I feel like that's probably better something feels weird about this I haven't yet figured out what it is exactly that I'm not feeling about it think maybe it tapers out wrong but I don't know just yet yeah I feel like um, things need to come out a little more yeah there we go there we go there we go okay figured it out I was like something feels weird it's like not enough of that going on like 
needs more of the what 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 which gluteus is that like the gluteus medius I don't know the top one Feels better to me. Um, let me push this more and then work on this deformed breast. <laughs> uh, um, really nice shapes, Donna. I love it so far. Thank you. I appreciate it. Um, let's hope it only gets better. <laughs> I need a reference for, like, this area, because I honestly, I don't think that I'm at my current state knowledgeable enough from memory to know what's going on in there. Um, so I'm gonna do that, like, ASAP. Ooh, that that's bad. Like I can already tell them that's not good. I'm like, um, what about the bicep? It's like connects over here. And let me figure out. So it's like if hmm. Right. And it's like uh Okay. I'm like figuring out how this works. <laughs> Wow, this is whew, beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> um, okay, people are still talking about uh, like technical difficulties they're experiencing, so I'm just going to sculpt. Um, I'm trying to think of like cool things to talk about. Um, Oh, let me tell you something very interesting. So, I was reading about how fungi reproduce, and apparently, so it's like, the, they kind of have, like, um, like just thousands of uh, different sexes that's not, like not just, like, male or female, but it's like they also reproduce weird, where it's like they just kind of, like, bumping to each other I don't really know it's very strange it's very fascinating I was like this is cool like mushrooms are weird uh what was it like the one with the most I think it goes into like 30,000 or something like that is the slime mold slime mold can just uh, like all it has to do is um god i was reading about like the science behind the reproduction too <laughs> i wish i was a scientist so i could spread the knowledge but i'm just like i remember things in like concepts but not specifics so i can't go around like sharing inaccurate information but if you're interested in like some really weird nature stuff look into it it's bizarre um okay i'm like where's the thumb thumb would be like i'm just going to actually like indicate it in this kind of way right oops Um, something like, oopsies, um, do that, yeah, see, good enough, it's, a it's not a thumb, <laughs> not good enough, it's like, add just a little more mess onto here, And just like this general shape, I'm like not super in love, but whatever, you know, for now, doesn't matter too much. Um, 
um, elbow time. Everybody's favorite is um, wow. I have a hard time like imagining what an elbow does when it's like upside down. So I'm like, mm -hmm. okay. Elbow. Elbows are weird. I, f I actually need more reference for this because I'm like, what way do the muscles turn? Um, I don't want to do stuff incorrectly. I'm like, yeah, muscles turn. It's like this way. Oof. Hunky arm, forearm, hunky forearm, and it's like, and it's so different when it's like double jointed too, because then you actually end up with like this weird something. Any more reference for it? To be honest, um, sculpt some fungus. I might. Um, I. So I like playing D&D, but I also like playing D&D without following the rules. <laughs> and I made, like, the best character ever it was, like, this mushroom man who, um, he was very, uh, trying to be heroic and whatnot, but he just <sighs> could never find a girlfriend or something. I don't know, it was, it was great. And he was, like, a ranger with a short sword. Very good at that game, yeah, you can tell. I'm like, I need more reference. It would be great if I actually put an effort looking at some reference at this point in time. Oh yeah, so this needs to be more angle like open, if that makes sense. Kind of like that. I feel like also that's not what that does. It's like, hello, triceps are over here. <laughs> um, can't you draw your own reference figures as good as Carl Ness? Um, I mean, nah, I'm not that great at drawing, um, to be honest. And I, that's the thing is like, I like looking at how other people perceive things also. Um, it always puts like a fresh sense of design, like you learn from how they view design. And I think that that's just something that I like. Let me just. Oof, I'm like, I need more reference for this area. Maybe I'm like, ugh, where does the bone do the thing? I'm gonna move on from this arm because I'm like not loving it and I feel like I'm wasting my time trying to guess how things look instead of actually looking at how things look. And how things work. Yeah, that shape does not look correct to me at all. Um, all art is difficult. It is. Some is easier for different people, right? Um, so what I want to do is I want to create, like, I want to really exaggerate the tension. So it's like this moving this way because the arm is moving that way and then this moving upwards because the arm is moving that way so let's i'm like ugh. i guess i'm gonna add like a very minor indication of a nipple there just because like it helps with understanding what's happening with the forms. I hope I don't get banned! <laughs> um, but I'm really trying to get the overlap to feel like it's happening. And then, like, add more of that in there. 
some musculature around the neck or whatever. Oh yeah, this over here. I didn't realize that I haven't even gotten around to doing the rib cage on this side. Oops, that's like too concave. And okay, let's see if I can really accentuate the difference in forms over here. Oopsies. Ah, no, go forward, please. There we go. Um, what's happening? Um, what is? Ah, uh, but they're like. See, that's like barely a nipple, right? Kind of. Okay, let's like make it even less obvious. Like, just barely. Barely. Nothing. Yeah, okay, there we go. That's. I think that that is censored enough. <laughs> uh, um... Yeah, there we go. Oh yeah, I could I could make that defense. Okay, so let's just make sure that maybe maybe this needs to Yeah, okay, that feels way better. And then just have that do this and then yeah, that Mm, remember, things are always moving on top of other firms, so it's like, oh, okay, so I always like looking at things from different angles because it really shows you, like, what's wrong with what you're doing. I'm like, okay, well, this is not, like, everything kind of needs to line up, right? So, like, that, and then I'm not looking at this. It's like what you can always do in order to check whether what you're doing is acting appropriately is just do that. You look, eh. It's like, can I see the other side? Like this? So I look at it and I'm like, okay, that actually seems fairly proportional. The stomach maybe is a little bit too far on one side as opposed to the other, so it actually should focus a little bit more in this direction. Like that, just... Okay. Let's re-establish this around here. There we go. Oh, and like this is so not defined also. I need to fix that. There we go. It's like this. Um, which tablet do you use? I use a uh, Bamboo Fun CT. 650. It's from like 10 years ago. I got it when I was 12 and it's been the best tablet ever. You can buy them on eBay for like 40 bucks. Which is what I did when I uh, I lost. I didn't lose my pen. I forgot it in a different country. I forgot it at my mom's place. And I was like, eh, and it would cost me $80 to buy the pen itself, but it would cost me, like, way less to just buy a new, like, the entire tablet. I feel like the obliques are coming out too much. Yeah, that feels better to me. 
Okay, let's work on the arm. Like this over here. Um... Um... Uh, hi, I missed the intro in to the series. Did you start off in pose or begin roughing in, in T-pose? No, so I started off with, let me show you, oh, it's not there anymore. I started out with, like, the mannequin, and I just posed it. So this has been all asymmetrical sculpting so far, um, which is crazy, because <laughs> I don't really do that. I'm like... But it's it's nice to do sometimes because it sets you. It's a good uh, like practice, if that makes sense. So I'm just you know I'm doing the thing. A very descriptive. You know I'm just doing the thing. No, I'm just I'm trying to define the shapes a little better. Like around here, right? Push the forms, do stuff like that. Like, try and you know, like you're guiding the viewer with curves, so it's like if you can. I mean, I might actually end up accentuating this pose a little bit to be a little... Yeah, that... Yeah. Right, something like that. Um, I feel like her torso is a little bit too long right now. And her legs are too short. So I'm going to do something like this instead. Yeah. I think the proportions look... Mm, now her torso feels like really short on there. So I'm just going to expand the legs a little bit. Yeah. Also, like, that curve is just way too extreme. I don't think people can look like that physically. It's just not a thing that happens. Yeah, that feels more natural. Also, I need to get more, like, whoopsie. <laughs> um... Um... What is going on? Uh, it's ten years old. I don't think they make it anymore. No, no, no. They don't make it anymore. I bought. I buy it off eBay. It's like if mine breaks, I'm gonna buy it off eBay. If they don't, it's like it's discontinued, which is a shame because it's the best. Seriously, I'm like, whack them. What are you doing? Okay, let me get into sculpting some stuff. Oh, maybe I can work on the face just a little bit. Or no. Okay, let's quickly do some stuff around the arm area. I might actually look at reference for this so I'm not doing weird things. Also, I need to look at Facebook chat. I have not checked the Facebook chat whatsoever. Sorry! Ah. <laughs> um... What is going on? Oh yeah, Facebook chat and the oh wow, my highlighter is really and not just that I was using a non body lotion. I was using like a face thing, a cream that really makes my face shiny. <laughs> Okay, please. Yes, thank you. Can I look at the comments? Is this a thing I can do, please? 
Sorry, Facebook people, I haven't checked on you. Uh, I'm so sorry. I'm gonna do it now. I think I'm gonna answer, like, questions, like, 50 years later. Um... Uh... I'm like, this person is watching this video, and I'm like, I know who that is. Thank you. <laughs> um, also, hi to everybody. Um, oh, this is funny. Somebody uh, mess like comments, night is already on my side of the earth. I cannot look. My eyes stick together. I will go to sleep. I wish you good luck and successfully completing this figure. I'm like, thank you. It's very nice. I hope you're having a good sleep. Um. So yeah, let me let me like th this bone is just protruding way too much. Let me pull that back. Pull this out a little more. There we go. Feels better more fleshy too um something like that i think okay that works for me and then maybe just like i really accentuated this curve over here which i'm like maybe i should keep that you know Um, so yeah, doody doody do, um, let's work on the arm, make some arm stuff happen, um, I'm always like, what does my arm do, I have like, okay, so the other day I was, <laughs> this is going to sound ridiculous by the way, but the other day I was like, flexing in the bathroom or whatever I was just like for some reason I just had the impulse to be like ah and I realized that like okay so like all right get ready people it's gonna be great um like you know there's like some amount of movement wait you can't see that eh wait not flexed flexed eh? a little bit of something it's my right arm which I like I'm right-handed right my left arm does not deform whatsoever. I have like zero bicep anything on my left arm. It's insane. I was like, ah! <laughs> oh, it was so weird. <laughs> um. All right. Let's let's see what people are actually. <laughs> now that that story happened, you're all welcome. By the way. <laughs> <laughs> um well so like i got a gym membership but i'm like i just i need to go i i know i do don't don't tell me things i or know already it's important the exercise important yes especially um if it like for what do you call it, like jobs where you just sit in front of a computer the whole day, aka what I do, you gotta exercise, you gotta do it. Um, this is weird. Time for some arm fat. Well, it's not fat, it's like muscle and fat. It's because of women. Oh my god, yeah, and I had that, like, weird insecurity moment where I was like, oh, I need to lose more weight in my arms. No, no, this sounds crazy. No, I need to gain more muscle and lose more weight in my arms. Otherwise, I'm just going to end up with, like, really unattractive arms, right? Because it's like, over time, you just end up depositing more fat in there. And it just, that doesn't look good. So I need to make an investment investment now so the future treats me more kindly. Um, what's going on? 
<laughs> uh... No, seriously, and so, like, I have, like, very mild scoliosis, right, which is horrible, like, I need to fix that, um, while I'm still fairly young, um, but I realize, and so one of the things that I realize is because whenever I, like, go grocery shopping or whenever I have a bag, I always put it on my right side, so I've been actively avoiding that so that I don't end up with those issues, um, Excuse me? Alright. Um, and so, I don't know, because I'm like, I think, uh, like, I don't work out, right? Not very much. Like, I've gone to the gym maybe 10 times in my life. Um, don't judge me, okay? Um, <laughs> but... Uh, God, I'm like so sidetracked right now because I'm actually trying to focus on what I'm on the art stuff that I'm doing. Um, sorry that oh, that's taking a little bit of a priority right now. Um, I'm just really trying to accentuate that because it's like in women, it's quite prominent, like the break and shapes I feel like hmm. hmm wait hold up if I do that like I'm like what happens um I have no idea what's going on but it's okay because who knows what's going on ever okay so it's too high of a subdivision level to be working on this. Um, but yeah, also if you're watching this on Facebook, I just recommend going on Twitch and talking to me there because that's what I check more. And sometimes not all the YouTube chat stuff uh, goes through. So I'm sorry if I haven't managed to answer your question or if I didn't see it, if it's a pressing issue. You can always, like, I don't know, email me or something. Um, so, yeah. Um, let's see. Okay, so it's like, I am approximately an hour and a half into sculpting this. And I'm going to be starting to look at actual reference while I'm doing this soon enough. So that I'm not doing things incorrectly. Because right now, I, this is all just, like, you know, f from memory, essentially. Like, stuff that I already know how to do. Which is why I haven't touched the back. I think backs are quite challenging. Or can be. Especially in, like, a more dynamic pose. They tend to be... They can get pretty tricky. Doing more more fat. Also, yeah, like one of my pet peeves is when people are afraid to give people like, to give women knees. Like they just kind of smooth out that entire area, and I'm like, "What are you doing?" <laughs> Let's see if I can get this to look. Oh yeah, so let's get a little bit more of like that shape in there. Yeah, feels better. Kind of like that. All right. I actually like this from this angle. So, ooh, ugly foot. Mm mm. Um. If it's okay to ask, are you affiliated with Pixelogic? What does affiliation even mean? So it's like, I um, I don't work for Pixelogic, if that's what you're asking. I'm just streaming on their channel, you know? And so it's like, 
um, you know, you there there is an interview process and there's like a selection process, but I'm not getting any money out of this. And I'm not getting any money from Pixelogic in general. That's what you're trying to find out. Oh yeah, and the bone over here. Let's make sure that that really... Mm, I need more reference for that, actually. Because I'm like, the bone, it's important. Make it happen. Both of the bones, and now it feels weird. Now I'm like, oh god, feet. I think sculpting feet is quite challenging, so I'm like, I always like to get reference for them because it's like, I don't know, man, it's just they're difficult to sculpt. So right now I'm maybe not doing like a stellar job, but whatever. Okay, yeah, let's accentuate the curve a little bit more there. Yeah, that might be a little bit too much. Too much, not enough. Um, you know, extend that. Oh, this really shows me like what's wrong with like the leg on this side. That could taper in more, like that. Um, there we go, like, accentuate that S-curve that's coming back in this direction. It's what I'm trying to do right now. Oof, this, this foot though. <laughs> yeah, this one's um, doing great. Okay, that's better. Marginally. Um... Uh, okay, so A. Grego is asking, new to Twitch, so I was just wondering if via them you choose to choose the sculpt studies you're doing, slash is there mentoring or something essentially, but yeah, just questions. Um, no, I just, you know, I just do stuff for fun and I happen to be streaming while doing it, you know, and talking to people about it. Um, but all, all of what I do, I'm just kind of like hanging out at home doing this thing because I think it's fun and it also, um, and I keep telling people this and they're just like, what, what are the benefits of streaming? It really helps you narrate yourself better. And it's more of just, it's like a weird social skill, if that makes sense. Um, also, it's like one of those things where it's like if you're at a studio and there's a bunch of people sitting behind you while you're working. Like, I don't have, I would not have that anxiety because I'm just used to people anywhere at any point in time being able to watch how I work. while talking about weird things such as fungi <laughs> there we go so a little bit of that Actually, I haven't worked on this area very much at all. Oh my god, the back also. <laughs> like, what's going on here? Um, what is going on with this arm? <laughs> you know, whatever. Um, let me just 
quickly make a shape for the hand. So at least it feels like I'm doing something. Let's do that over there. Um, move where the thumb would be like down. Something like that. I actually really enjoy sculpting hands in clay. It's like, in my opinion, one of the most dynamic parts of the body. Um, let's you know, do that thing. And then, like, ugh, the arm just, yeah, that feels better. I need more reference. <laughs> There we go. I mean, not not perfect, but I feel like this curve could be more. You know, it's like swoop down, swoop up. Well, I just gotta think in those terms. Same same thing over here. It's like swoop in, and it has to swoop out a little bit to add a little bit more of a dynamic rhythm. The thing with the arm is like, gotta open the hand up, something like that. Oops, that looks funky. Um, right, so we got something going on there let's um talking about what you're doing helps reinforce what you know that's true <laughs> uh i got a question can you add a body after you sculpt the head and how do you connect them both um so it really depends what you want your final result to be so what i would recommend is adding like um combining the head and the body as soon as possible simply because um like for a non-destructive workflow you need that to be honest um also okay like let's do that scapula thing that is, i'm like uh i need reference for all of this and it's just not happening. I'm like, eh. So then this goes in. So actually, it would just be like more mass being pushed this way. I don't know, man. Like, this is why I don't... I need reference for this. But, um... Okay. Add a little bit of that. Go up the subdivision level. Um, so yeah, what I would do in terms of like the head and the body, what you can do is you can dynamesh it together and then zero mesh it and then reproject all the details. Which is why I'm like, just do it as soon as you can because there's no point in sculpting the things separately and then combining them together it's just not not the brightest of ideas okay no i'm like guessing what's going on there and i hate doing that because i know i'm doing it incorrectly so i'm going to go and do that reference thing now because i with the back i always forget i'm like uh where is the insertion point <laughs> Of this muscle, I don't remember. Um, oh yeah, let me just work on the legs over here a little bit, and then I'll move back to that. Um, your social skills are doing great. 
Thank you. Um, uh, do you work in a studio where people would be watching you work? Well, you know, it's um, at some point, like, it happens where it's, like, whoever your supervisor is or, like, the art director or whatever, there is going to be a point when people are going to watch you working. And some people get, like, a lot of anxiety while doing so because it feels like a lot of pressure and you're like, oh, I can't mess up. Um, and I'm, like, just, I don't know. I don't really, I feel like, uh, the hold up. I'm like trying to focus on what I'm actually doing. Like weird leg thing. This is why I'm upset that I lost the poly group is because this is like a weird angle to sculpt from. Like, please, more mess here, less mess over there. All right, we're saving. Do, 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 do. Saving time. Saving time. Saving time. Uh, I feel like if I don't know something well enough to teach it, I don't know it enough. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's, that's the thing is like before you go spearing around information, you got to make sure that it's that it works, you know. Um, which is why I'm like with streaming, I'm not teaching anything, right? I'm just kind of talking about my process. And um, it's like if I have any information that people want to know, they can ask me. But like I don't have nearly as much pressure on the teaching side of stuff because I'm not like I'm not a teacher. And, like, with streaming, I'm just honestly, like, hanging out, doing stuff. And I can be also, like, yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. Like, I need to look at reference, and I don't know, like, this and that. Um, let's bulk this up a little bit. And do that thing where, you know, you have like this weird thing in the leg. Oops, that. See, I'm like, Polygroup, please, I, I like the, the return on that is incorrect, but what else? It's like it needs a little bit more stuff going here. Mm, and maybe like a little more definition over here. Yeah, I mean, the calves are just... Mm, like this curve over here it's just like mm, yeah so what you want to do is do something more dynamic or it's like you push the curve to act how you want it to uh, how you want it to act in a more visually compelling way so like eh I also feel like right now this is not, it doesn't feel stable enough. So that feels better to me. And, um, yeah. I have Let's Get Physical by Olivia Newton John stuck in my head. Um, alright, let's see, what reference did you send? 
Oh, um, that one's not bad. No, I have reference. I'm just, I haven't got around to actually looking at it. That one's good, though, actually. Um, yes, thank you for sending me that. Let's, let's work on the back for a hot second. So I'm like, muscle this way, scapula this way more muscle and it would act just a little bit differently but I'm like eh, there's the shape the general shape at least and then um oh that is so interesting I'm looking at this one really good reference but it's all like mm, oh wow that is so cool oh I'm like I always get so amazed when looking at the reference because it's like you learn so much just by looking at it um, you know, trying to get this muscle to do that thing more. Also getting a little bit more of a protrusion in there. Like in here. Let's move that out. That doesn't look amazingly correct right now, but we'll get there. Don't worry about it. Um, okay, so the A, oh, very interesting, huh? Huh. Oh, weird, why would I do that? That was so confusing for me for a moment. I'm just like, why is that elbow? Well, I still think the elbow should be more high up. Um... This is not a beautiful representation of an elbow. <laughs> also, kind of, like, this is too short, I feel like. And then... And that... Oh, very interesting. Okay, more muscle going this way. Um, and then we have, like, this thing over here, which is, yeah, connection point of, like, the deltoid. I'm like, huh, this is all... Wow! Oh my god, I have so much wrong in what I'm doing. It's amazing. I'm like, okay, so lats are like way lower. Fun fact, Donna. <laughs> you know, every now and then I like talk down to myself, and I, I like after I do it, I'm just like, no, I, I appreciate the um like brain i was born with and everything like i think i'm fine you know i have moments where i'm like god donna like you're not doing this and that and yeah, 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 yeah. and i'm like no you know what it's not that bad it's not that big of a deal gotta chill out sometimes also i'm sorry i'm not reacting to chat right now but i'm actually like trying to look at reference um Side effects, I go sleep. Good night. Um, do you have your own YouTube channel? Yes, I do. It's um, just look up. My, but I only have like one video on it so far. Um, wow, I'm going like this is. Yeah, scapulas. Difficult. I'm like, that looks so weird. It's like you have one thing going this way and you have the other thing going that way. And it just looks kind of skewed. I need more... Um... Hold up. For this, I would use scans. Because I'm just like, it's uh, a little difficult being able to discern what's really happening.
from photographs alone. Yeah, that doesn't look right to me. And I'm like, if I do this, it's like it doesn't just like go out like that. It actually comes in a little bit more. It's more like just hanging out there. Whereas this other thing should be like... Nah, that's still like not popping out though. Like I'm making it pop out. Mm, also, like, I for some reason decided it would be a grand idea to, like, do some weird switching proportion stuff. So maybe more like that. Yeah, man, backs are confusing. Need better reference for this, to be honest. Yeah, because I feel like I'm just winging this. Ish. And I'm like, that's not what the muscles are doing, but I'm making it happen anyways. Oh, actually, hold up. I can make one solid thing happen here, though. Uh, this is not looking amazing, and I'm upset about it. Um, also, I don't like this curve. That's not accurate. That feels better. I'm gonna work on the face a little bit while I, I don't know, think about life. <laughs> um, let's get this back in here. Um, like you would use a generic scan with the raise arm as a reference or try to find a scan with a closed post uh, to use as a base. I would um, do both but normally it's just easier to find. I'm like okay raised arm okay arm not raised but going backwards that's just easier to find um, than the alternative right. I need to look at more like armpit reference to be honest. So her ribcage feels a little deformed, like just two out there. There we go. I mean, kind of. I don't like how the highlight rolls off at that one point. Yeah, that... There we go. And let me just make this a little bit more accentuated. Oops. Like, soften that area, but then bring them back just a little bit of sharpness there. Like, I don't know. Add more overlap in this area. I'm gonna just do this thing. Alright, something like so. Actually, maybe define this 
playing just a little bit better. Move the separation in there. Um, yeah, whatever is happening over here, I don't know, like, that's not correct. Maybe give her, like, back dimples? There you go. Accentuate overlap for some reason. Yeah, whatever. Who cares? Like, yeah. Something like that. Um, bring that in a little more. Bring, because it's like flexing or something. So it's like you want the apex to be higher this to be lower um maybe accentuate this curve just a little more like frontwards so that i'm like nye, nye, you know um okay i'm gonna work on oh okay weird hold up Hold up, let's look at things from this angle, which apparently I have absolutely neglected. Wow, okay, I hate it. <laughs> um, okay, that just does not seem right to me. Yeah, that feels better. Um, Okay, I'm gonna make the face now. I don't really have like a face reference, but I'm looking at whatever this one reference photo I'm looking at is, and I'm just gonna make that check vaguely. It's like a skinny long nose-ish. Kind of like that. Nothing too crazy. Um, let me see if people are saying anything in both like the chats or whatever. Ugh, gross ears. Just do the thing. There we go. Ear. Ah. Uh. All right. Alright, I'm just kind of carving out her features right now. Nothing, like, I'm just not that concerned with how accurate it's going to end up looking. It's just... Doing something like so. Uh, looks like a child. Stop doing that. 
I need to make it look more angular. Also, less anime eyes. Like, smaller eyes. Um, further apart. Maybe if I just, like, remove- yeah, that looks way better already. Uh, what's going on? Your streams are the best. Thank you, 3D Passion. Um, guys, it's okay. You don't need to send me reference. I'm not like it's it's fine. Cause like I I can't look at like Google videos and things like that. Google videos, YouTube videos, and things like that. But I appreciate it. You just don't have to do it. I'm just... It's okay. I might look through it, though. Uh, a little bit of a crooked nose. What if I make her smile? I never do that. Oops. Alright, let's look through chat. <laughs> Hey guys, that's a lot of links. Yes. Yes it is. Okay. Um. Okay. Guys, like way too much like uh I'll read through your comments once I'm done streaming, but I can't like the the you know I appreciate it, but also I'm probably not going to read entire paragraphs while I'm working. Telling me like how to do things. And it's like, cause I'm like, I'll figure it out, but not right now. Um, cause right now I'm just like, Merp. um, I'm hold up. I'm giving her like a weird something. Like skinnier face, higher cheekbones or something. Somebody the other day told me that I have, like, high cheekbones, and I'm like, what? No, I just have a lot of, like, whatever, flesh. <laughs> but my cheekbones themselves are not particularly prominent. Let's see. I can. Get more. Something going on around this area. Yeah, um, hmm, how do you make mouth, yeah, gr great times. <laughs> um, hold up, let me... Yeah, I'm like, I need more resolution in here to get, like, a good 
um, definition of what the teeth are doing, but yeah, you know what? Like, I think this is fine. Oh, terrifying, mildly. Um, yeah, there we go. Do 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 do. Um, what's up? Oh no, I didn't even notice that that happened. Well, whoops, it's fine. It's not that big of a deal, to be honest. Okay. Face is just a little bit, like, oddly flat from certain areas. Like, oh yeah, you know what it is? It's like this weird... Um, hold up, let me build up her... Her jaw. There we go. It's a lady. She might want, like, I'll give her a. I don't know. I'll, I'll indicate some amount of something going on with the hair. She does deserve like some hair wisps going down though. Let's make that happen for her. Doo -doo. Doo -doo. Just like tiny little hair stuff. It's a little ponytail. This is so messy, but it's okay. Cause it's a sketch! Haha! <laughs> just trying to build up the volume also from more than just one view. Just like bring this back together. Okay, sweet. Let's make the ear just a little more detailed. And then I'm going to look at what is going on in the chat. Whatever, you know, like you get it. Hmm. Maybe just... Something like so. Yeah, that's not <laughs> doing it for me. Um, Cause it's not following the shapes that I laid down earlier. I'm gonna look at the chat soon. Thanks for being patient if you're waiting for some form of interaction with me. <laughs> yeah. Alright, and maybe give her just a little bit more of the eyebrow something. There we go. Oh, and I'm not feeling what's going on with the hand. I feel like it should actually be more like... Yeah, that's way better. See? Yeah. 
Okay, I guess we're gonna come back to the back because I think. Okay, I mean, the, I don't know what's going on with this neck though. Hmm. <laughs> Question mark. Should be a little bit less straight because it's, you know, vertebrae or whatever. I don't actually have a reference for somebody turning their. I'm like, uh, when I do this things start popping out. Um, maybe like bring that a little bit more like so, yeah. That makes um, more sense to me. There we go. I'm gonna move this to the center of her head because it should be there. Okay. Alright, let's see what chat says. <laughs> my poor finger. I have like a little cut on my finger and it really hurts. Um, finally able of commenting here. Yes! Yay! Welcome to the stream! Um, thanks for showing up. <laughs> Let me see if anybody is saying anything and nobody is. Okay. It's fine, I guess. Alright, um, so I was, I, I said I was gonna do like a stylized version of this, but I think I'm just gonna attempt on learning the anatomy <laughs> of what's happening. So you can actually, this is like one of those moments where you're like learning along with me, I guess. <sighs> Don't know how good of an idea that is, but all right. Because <laughs> I'm fine with like whatever. I mean, the feet, that, but whatever. Just analyzing some stuff. I'm trying to see if I can push the forms just a little more. Come on. Don't be mean. All right. Yeah, so that I feel like could just, oops, not like that. Yeah, I need reference for this because I'm like, that does not look correct to me at all, you know? Should be like, And also, this thing needs to be more like that. Ugh, I want tacos. <laughs> My life is a never ending um, me wanting random food at all times. Oh yeah, let me, that does not look correct, to be honest, let's just do a thing like so, do-de-do, a dee-dee-dum, da-dee-doo, dum-dum-dum, ba-da-dum, 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 dum 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 ba dum Um, alright, reference looking time. Let me check if anything is happening. Oh, is anything? You're so entertaining, we don't even need to ask questions. Am I really? Because I was going to be like, 
So how's everybody's day going? <laughs> um, because I don't know if I am entertaining enough. I don't know. Or like engaging, you know, giving the quality content that people are spending their Sundays on. <laughs> um, so let me just take chat. Don't do that. What? What did I do? Oh my god, chat is gone. No, it's not. Okay. Where? Where is the top? I don't know what's going on. Hey. Ay, ay, ay. How do I? Is there? Can you? Can I? Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, I don't know what's happening. I am terrified of my life. Oh my god, where did that go? Oh, uh, wow. Mm. And I thought I wasn't going to have any technical difficulties today. <laughs> um, no, so what happens is like Restream is all like weird and doesn't let me move it around anywhere. No, 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 stop doing that thing, please. Oh, there it is. Okay, that was extremely rude. What is... Um... Uh, 94 viewers means you're doing something right. Oh, yeah, so on uh, whatever Restream says, I guess, like... 123 um but thanks to everybody who's watching i appreciate it um okay let's oh i have some amazing reference what am i even doing with my life not looking at it hold up my people i got you and myself apparently <laughs> um Let's put this here. Seth says hello. Hello. What's up? Well, you said hi. I said hello. I'm doing some misrepresentation over here. Okay, okay, okay. I got it. It's gonna be fine. Alright, so. This muscle is doing. And like this muscle, it is doing a thing. Um, let me just, like, planarize this out also. It's like, sometimes damn standard is okay, but it's like you're just drawing a line, whereas, like, if you go over it with H polish, you're really uh, setting the depth in a more accurate way. If that makes sense. It's a little bit too not lumpy enough and, like, organic looking, but that's fine. Like, we'll fix it. It'll happen, don't worry. Get fixed. Okay, so. Uh huh, there's some shape doing shapey things. <laughs> I'm horrible. <laughs> but sometimes all you do need to know is morphology, which I'm like, am I doing this correctly? Who knows? Um, and so the bone actually seems to stick out quite a bit when you do that. And then you do have like this protrusion. Um, what's going on in chat? Oh my god, Vimal says there should be butterflies in my hair. I agree. I'm gonna... I'm gonna buy some. I know where from. I don't know what color, though. 
I'm thinking about pink. Pink's always a great color. Especially for butterflies or white. I could make it white. Because I'm also like, mm, I don't know, man. Question mark big time. Oh, see, now it's, like, overdefined, and it's like, all right, well, you got something going on there. That looks about semi-right. Man, I, like, but how does it connect into the armpit? This is why I like scans. I can just look at the entire thing and be like, okay, I know what's going on. It's like, oh, I need a view? Oh, I got it. It's actually more like that. Oh my god. Why am I so not that good at it? Hmm. I'm like, maybe I should hide that thing with, like, hair. <laughs> Just make the hair longer. So I don't feel frustrated about it. <laughs> Just the easy way out, but... You know what? Sometimes... Sometimes whatever makes you feel better. Uh. Um. Boom. Minus that angle. That angle is ugly. Um, what's going on in chat? Um, there are even... What? Armpits are like black holes. Nobody knows what's going on in there. I don't know, man. I like, I... It's not the armpit itself that I'm like, oh, no, no, no. It's like this junction over here that I am mildly confused about. I need reference for, but don't. When I say I need to, like, I'll, I'll find my own reference. Don't worry about it. If I plan on working on this more. Or, like, working on that specific body part, which I probably will some point. Okay. Feels a little bit more balanced. Like I want to do it like that. It's important that things just work from all, all angles. Like hair. <laughs> all right. Soften that out just a little bit. Yeah. Okay, move the entire scapula this way. Move the entire back, actually. And it should come more up, I feel like. And then this, I'm like, mm -mm, that does not look correct at all to me. Like, build up more mass. Let's uh, connect <sighs> Don't do this to me. I'm like, okay. Try some. So all this, it kind of throws you off when you're used to making muscles in a specific way, T-pose. And you're like, um, so this is moving this way, so how would that, like, affect this other thing that's happening?
I can change up the lighting a little bit too. Let's see what's up. That looks better. Now this scapula feels like under, I don't know, it's like, what are you doing? I feel like there should just be a little bit more of that going on. Okay, I'm gonna check the chat soon. So if anybody has any uh, questions, I can attempt on answering them. <laughs> also, the focal length is like crazy. The angle of view or whatever, yeah, that feels better. Let me just reinstall. Nah, that didn't do very much. There we go. Cool, but also like Let's um, define this just a little more. Like, how many of these do you even end up seeing? Not a lot, you know. My stomach is making crazy sounds. I hope that you can't hear them. Because they're weird. Oh, I'm like, what is this lump? Why did I invent this bizarre lump over here? That does not exist. Or does it? That's why I'm like, I need to look and reference. Oh, yeah, there. That makes more sense. There we go. Justified lump this time, but now I need to actually look at armpits. Because this armpit area, not, not looking too great. I'm like, that's not what an armpit looks like. Like, vaguely, I'm like, I know what armpits look like. Kind of like that, right? Haha. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, so let's look at some more reference. Let me just, like, nah, I don't like that. Um, hey Donna, so I always try to start a character sculpting in ZBrush, but I get blocked by the idea that I don't know a lot about anatomy. I end up giving up or getting ugly characters, so please give me an advice or share your experience when you first started sculpting characters. So I think, um... Definitely the, I, like, the thought of, okay, that's a good photo. Um, sorry, I got distracted by this good picture I found. Oh, man, I sort of understand what's happening. So, um... Sorry. 
Man, I, I think I might need to find like more, like just one more reference image of um, what outfits look like. Like, image. Images, please. Um, all right, I have 20 minutes left, which is which should be enough for an armpit. <laughs> anyway, sorry that I was um, that I didn't answer yet. So, oh, I can just find like a 3D scan screen. The uh, 3D scan store. Um, I'm just gonna look at the scans. I don't know why I didn't do this earlier. Um, so I think the best way for you to get over that fear is to do stuff, maybe st like try experimenting, doing stuff like this, where it's like it doesn't matter whether the outcome is good or bad. Um, oh my god, okay, 3D scan store, Black Friday, 60% of all of their stuff. So guess who's buying things from them? This person. Um. Oh, that's gonna be great. Body scans. Yes, please, internet, bless me with that. Oh, that's actually a very good... Wow, that's like almost the same pose. What? Crazy. Okay, so... Um... What happens is, um you can overcome that fear more easily if you actually so like start from a more basic standpoint where it's like you create art where it's like the end goal is not something that's like super finished or super polished what you want to do is do quick studies that target like quick in, in your own pace not qu so quick that you don't end up learning anything but it's like if you feel like you don't know anatomy enough then work on it right so it's like you kind of know the answer to your own problem where um if you just start working on um refining that but at the same time Concurrently, what I would do is, like, while working on anatomy, I would also do little projects. There are, like, props or, like, clothing-based studies or things that um, per are pertaining to character art, but are not, like, a fully-fledged character, which is what you're afraid of. So what you um, could do once you feel comfortable with making props fairly quickly or like little like easy projects quickly and you feel like your anatomy knowledge is um good enough then you can go ahead and make a character but honestly like experience is the only thing that you can gain speed and confidence from also, this is so weird. So it's like they have that one pose. Where did it go? So bizarre. 3D scan store. Why did you do this to me? It's like they had the pose and then it, it's just not on there. It's like they use it as a thumbnail, but they don't actually have it available. It's very strange. Um, I'm so sad. I, I wish that that was a thing that I could see. Mm. What about this angle? Oh, okay, cool. I guess I know what's happening now. Yeah, alright, I get it. See, this is why I love scans. I, I already, I'm like, okay, I, I actually feel like I know, like, what the shapes are doing. Maybe not, like, super specifically, but specifically enough to move forward with what I'm working on. It's like that form goes into there. And, um, it's actually moves at a slope that's, like, upward. Right. Mm. 
oopsies um like yeah this elbow not doing that great because i'm like what do like if i do that just kind of does some weird something and then other things happen and like elbow goes to there so it's like that bone let me undo this a little bit I'm like, that's not how the muscles work, but I currently am, oh wow, I am like trying to focus on like 50 different things. How typical. <laughs> also, that just seems too long. Um, I'm gonna check with chat right now, like if anybody's asking more questions and hopefully I can answer those for you um also like let's you know do the thing where that happens mm, not great but okay i'm like oh, that does not look correct in any way hold up because i'm like that eh, eh, bicep do the thing where you you know it's like it's too skewed if that makes sense I'm like, can I? It's like if I... I don't know, man. Arms are weird. Um, this is actually looking very good. Thank you. I appreciate it. Um... Wait, Seth is asking, where do you work? I currently am uh, not working at any studio. That's what you're asking. I'm also in the US on a tourist visa, so I can't work. So, yeah. But... I am like if you're like wait what do you do I'm just a freelancer <laughs> for now I'm like trying to get a stable gig but it's not like it's difficult because of the whole like I am foreign and I don't want to work in the country that I'm from. <laughs> I mean, it's not that I don't want to work there. I wouldn't mind working there. I just don't want to um, stay there. If that makes sense. Man, you know what? I feel like I need way more reference for the elbows because I'm like... Girl, what's going on? You know? Not me. Maybe if I flip it around, I'll have a... Oh, yeah, see? Wow. I flip it around and I already am like, what am I doing? <laughs> okay. So this, this is going great. It's like, eh. And then more stuff happening this way. Just like do 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 la di da di da 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 da. Uh, would you prefer working at a studio? I am a very extroverted person, so the answer to that is yes. Just because I like being surrounded by people. <laughs> uh, 
Um, but I also, I don't know, personally, it's, I, um, sorry. I prefer having direct contact with the people that I'm working with as opposed to like email and stuff like that. It's just much less hassle and it's like if you need something or it's like if there's an emergency or if like whatever, if anything happens, it's like you're there. Um, so I think that for my personality type at least, it, it's it's better. It would work out better. Yeah, so that looks a little bit, um, no, yes, I'm like, duh, need more elbow references. Hey, that's not looking like too terrible. You're almost, um, yeah, I haven't, like, worked on this elbow over here. It's like... Oh, yeah, I guess, like, that should happen. Where, like, this mess is like... <laughs> Why do I do that? I don't know. Do you live in LA? No, not exactly. I used to because I went to school here and I, um, sorry. Um, I came back because I was part of the ZBrush Summit. Um, the right, I was competing for the ZBrush Summit, so I had to come back. Um, so that was a good time, um, and I'll be going back soon. Um, man, like, what is this? Yeah, that I prefer. I prefer. This is, uh, okay, so I have, what, like, five minutes left? So let's make some decisions on what to focus on. Um, I'm going to just, like, give her some ribcage definition over here. So like, I'm like very, 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 very mild. Okay, just to yeah. See, there we go. That's like barely there. So that's just like not accurate. Not exactly. Like, I don't know, I don't like, I feel like this angle could be a little bit crazier. No, like, come in more. Yeah. Prefer that. Although this, like, <laughs> long highlight of nothingness. It's killing me. There we go. It's a little more dispersed. Um, and right, I'm like, I, I'm not even looking over there. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Let me just um, like smooth that out a little bit. Mm, okay, so actually, this is not good it's like yeah feel 
else more natural right so he's, there's like this bizarre concavity that should not be there like uh-huh right see that shouldn't be there maybe like smooth out this these shapes a little bit Right, bring that out. Um, bring the apex lower, actually. Do, 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 do. Um, does Zebras have a feature if, um, to test if the shape would balance or tip over. No, I don't believe that does. That would be very interesting. Actually, yeah, what I can do is delete lower, mirror it over, and see what I can fix now that it's flipped around. And I'm like, oh, I'm seeing this, uh, like me. If all like four minutes left of the stream by the way this is a cool tip if you're doing something similar but yeah so now i'm like oh okay i see how like the hip bones are not particularly symmetrical can add a little more of that then like stuff with the abs that i don't like um you know i'm like oh it would be cooler if it was like that you know, eh, uh, no, it's like, yeah, better, but also like that pushed it in some way, yeah, you know what, I'm not liking any of these changes, oh no, definitely like the abs are weird though. I'm gonna give the belly button a slightly better look. Um, yeah, I mean, armpits are weird. Let's see if I... Uh, more tips apart from practice for make a quick sketch. Um, honestly, like, I started out doing traditional sculpting, so maybe that could possibly help speed you stuff up, but honestly, like, it's, it's mainly practice. Practice and, like, learning how to do things quicker. Man, armpits are weird. I'm like having a really hard time finding a good. It's like there, there was that one, and now it's gone. Where did it go? Oh, there's one. How did I miss it? I have one minute. Okay, can I please? Wow, this scan is so good. Whoa, you can actually see the texture difference in her, like, armpit area. Yo, okay, you have to see what I'm talking about. Eh, isn't that crazy? Yo, and it, like, picks up on all the- Wow, seriously. Okay, so this scan is, like, super high quality. Wow. How can we make use of your last minute? Me yelling, yo, look at this woman. Scan. <laughs> um, sorry about that. Oh, okay, so I've been, like, connecting the bicep to the wrong part. So that's my issue, is like, I've been doing this the wrong way the whole time. 
It's like it actually connects like over here. More like that, apparently. And then there's like um a dip in here. I don't know if this is going to end up looking any better or worse, to be honest. That ended up looking worse. I don't know if... I'm like, undo, please. I'm gonna give her, like, that thing anyways, but... But... Um... Right, if anybody has any, like, super last-minute question, I'm leaving in, like, you know, soon, like, shoot. But otherwise... Okay. Um, let's mirror that. Oh, okay. Delete lower. Mirror. Alright. I mean, I can see how what I did was wrong, though. So, let's... Okay. Alright, my friends. Um... Sorry, I'm, like, obsessed with trying to fix this. Whatever, I gotta look at more references, what I've concluded from this. <laughs> Um, and let me just do the thing where I'm like, do, do, do. I don't know. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so, um, thank you everybody for showing up. I hope that, um, let me just do a thing. All right. Thanks to everybody who showed up. I hope that you enjoyed the stream. Um, I hope that it was informative and gave a little more info about how I approach doing quick studies and things like that. Because I'm like, it's three hours, right? It's just... It is what it is, right? Yes. Um, the hand's not the most beautiful, but who cares? Um, let's... Oh, you know what? Actually, like, sorry, one more thing I'm gonna do, because I... I have to. Oh no, what did I do? Yeah, please. Okay, I'm going to rotate her arm to be more straight like in the drawing because I actually really like that oops I'm gonna sorry I know I know I was supposed to leave but I can't just let it go all right perfect all right <laughs> that feels better um so I'll just, you know, do that thing. Give it some lighting. Cool, cool lighting. Yeah, that's cool lighting, right? Uh, sorry, I know, I know I'm supposed to leave. Ooh, I don't, I'm like, uh, uh, okay, um, so big thank you to everybody who showed up, <laughs> um, I hope, yeah, I already said all the things that I wanted to say, I was just like nitpicking on the thing that I was doing, right, um, but yeah, um, I hope to see everybody next week, and if anybody has suggestions on what they'd like me to do next week, let me know. Um, I 
am always looking for new things to do. Um, and yeah, I hope everybody has a great Sunday and a great next week until we see each other again. So goodbye. Um, where do I stop?